I keep hearing that it's the government responsibility, as Senator Bradley said. But there are many, many organizations that are out there supporting victims. But there's not much support for perpetrators, and perpetrators can get the help that they need. Um, and this is where, collectively, as individuals, we can start examining ourselves. Because if the statistics are true, as presented or shared by um, Senator Perfit, then at some point in here, in this humble chambers, and it's frightening, it's alarming, that some one of us can be an abuser or we can be a victim. And so collectively, retro retrospectively, every single individual have to ask themselves, am I an abuser? Because at any given time, you can go home with levels of work stress, and that can trigger off into your family setting, and you end up having to abuse your wife. And regrettably, instead of having to think otherwise, you end up causing harm, and then that becomes an incident. What this nation witnessed is exactly what every senator who has spoken today has condemned and criticized. We saw with concern a victim going to the police station to make a statement. And the same criticism, is that the right place? Was she protected? How did she feel? Was it necessary for her to be accompanied by a lawyer? But the deeper complaint, we all saw persons being allowed to go into the police station to pressure her and to interfere with the process. That is what we witness. We witness, Madam President, a withdrawal which happens far too often. Senators have identified reasons why mostly women find it necessary or are forced to withdraw. Lack of support. Senator Burns highlighted it. Senator Smith pointed out the entire lack of not only financial support, but other type of support that people go through and suffer and don't have, and so have to find themselves going right back to the venue where they know what is going to happen. We listen carefully to the examples given by Senator Zhang. But yet, a professional, a self-accomplished woman because of the circumstances swirling around her and the pressures, ended up withdrawing. The statement that was given has been broadcast widely on social media. And we must, as a country, ask ourselves, how is it that our system allows those circumstances to go unpunished. 